It was so fascinating, but we need to move on. Senator Sanders. Thank you, Madam Chair and Mr. Vice President. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you not only for focusing uh, our country and much of the world's attention on this planetary crisis, but you've done something else. I think it is no secret that a lot of our young people are disenchanted with the political process, are alienated from it. And I think you have given that generation the hope that maybe they also can become a great generation and break our dependency on fossil fuel and move us toward energy efficiency and sustainable energy. And I think the hearts of a lot of young people are beating a little bit faster today because of your work, and I want to thank you very much for that. And uh, on behalf of Senator Boxer and myself, we want to thank you for your support of our legislation, uh, which we think is the most comprehensive that has been introduced in, in the Congress. Uh, Mr. Vice President, I want to pick up on a point that Senator Klobuchar raised a moment ago. We have heard from some people who disagree with us philosophically that if we move forward aggressively in reversing global warming, that it will be a terrible, terrible thing for the economy. That's what some people say. Some of us believe, in fact, that if we are aggressive in terms of energy efficiency, if we reverse the absurdity of no longer having the United States being a leader in solar energy, we are way behind where other countries are, no longer being a leader in terms of wind technology or many of the other sustainable energies that are out there, that in fact if we focus on these issues, if we bring labor and business together, that in fact we can create millions of good paying jobs as we not only reverse global warming, but we clean up the environment which is causing so much illness and other problems. Could you speak briefly on what you see as the economic plus, mm -hmm. the advantages of moving toward a green revolution and energy efficiency and sustainable energy? Well, thank you, Senator Sanders, and I agree with you, first of all, that the young generation is uh, getting very deeply involved with this. And I remember when I was uh, a teenager and the civil rights revolution became a moral issue, and when my generation asked our elders to explain why the segregation wasn't immoral, and they, when they couldn't answer, that's when the laws changed. And I think that uh, this young generation is getting deeply involved in this as a moral issue. Your uh, uh, fellow Vermonter, Bill McKibben, has been among those who have really tapped into that, and my hat is off to him. On the uh, economic benefits of attacking this problem, Amory Lovins has testified before this committee. He's one of these guys that's so smart, you think you're drinking from two fire hoses at the same time when he talks. And uh, he, he's been right about a lot of things for 30 years, and, uh, he, he, but he just, you know, he has so many great ideas. He told me one time, he said, you know, Al, the problem with the debate over the economic impact of the solutions is that they got the sign wrong. And I thought, you know, this guy's so smart, he's talking about trigonometry, which I can't talk about. I thought he was talking about cosine or something. No, he's talking about plus sign and minus sign. That was a relief to me. And what he meant was there are all kinds of solutions to the climate crisis that people think have a minus sign when actually they have a plus sign. Take the, uh, the insulation uh, and building improvements I was talking about earlier and proposing this uh, Connie May. If we made those expenditures, we would sharply reduce CO2. There's more CO2 comes from buildings than comes from cars and trucks. Would that hurt our economy? No, it would greatly strengthen our economy. It would create jobs, number one, and it would sharply reduce our annual expenditure for energy that goes purely to waste. So that's a plus sign, not a minus sign. If we develop the new technologies that Senator Klobuchar is focused on, and we give our auto industry, just to take that one example, the ability to recapture some of the markets they've lost to the, to the hybrids from Japan. Is that, is that a minus sign? No, it creates jobs. It adds to our economic strength. And there are literally thousands of similar examples. Now, there are also some minus signs out there, and we have to pick and choose carefully and keep our wits about us. But if we go about it in the right way, we can strengthen our economy while we reduce the CO2. Thank you, Senator. Uh, Senator Bond. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair, and uh, welcome.